Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video I want to teach you about decimals, specifically about tenths, and that's where we want to start. It's the easiest part. Now, what are decimals? Well, they are simply fractions. Okay? But they are special fractions, namely fractions with denominators 10, or 100, or 1000, 10,000, and so on. So, we will start by looking at these kind of pictures, and children are already used to these when they have studied fractions. I just have to divide my one whole to ten parts. Okay, and here I have two parts that are colored, so this is the fraction two tenths. And as a decimal, we write it as 0 0.2. Okay, so the number after the point tells you how many tenths. And here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. 7 tenths. As a decimal, this is written as 0 0.7. Now, the decimal here can be read as 7 tenths, and then many people just say it as 0 0.7. Either way, or however your teacher wants you to say. And um, here I wrote a long number here to emphasize our place value system. Um, as children have already learned, here we have ones, in this place we have ones. In this place we have tens, three tens. Here we have hundreds, and here we have thousands. And now this place here tells us how many tenths, how many tenths apart. And each one of these differs by a factor of 10, so that when you go from 1 to 10, it's 10 times as much, 10 times as much, 10 times as much, and if you go this way, it is uh, 1 tenth of each place value, and that's why from 1 to here we go to 10, 10 parts. Another important teaching tool is the number line, and uh, we divide the number line from 1 to 0, from 0 to 1, I'm sorry. We divide it to 10 parts, just like this one was divided to 10 parts. And so, this one here is now at 1 10, as a decimal is 0 0.1, written 0 0.1. And here would be 0 0.2, or 2 tenths, 3 tenths, or 0 0.3, and so on. Here we have 9 tenths, or 0 0.9. Then we come to 1, after this is 1 and 1 tenth. And so it's written 1 and 1 tenth, 1.1, 1 1.2, 1. 1. 1 1.3, and so on, 1.9, or 1 and 9 tenths. It's 2, and then after that, 2 and 1 tenth, 2.1, and so on. Lastly, I want to show you a little bit about adding decimals with tenths. It's pretty easy. For example, if I have here problem, I can read it as 3 tenths plus 2 tenths. The answer is obviously 5 tenths, right? And it's written as 0 0.5. Now, what children often go wrong is with these kind of additions. I have 8 tenths plus 3 tenths. The answer is 11 tenths. But when you think of the 11 tenths, it's a fraction like that. Ten of those tenths makes one. And so we will have one and one tenth. Some children will write the answer to this problem as 0 0.11, which is wrong. Okay? And the reason they do that is because they think of this 8 and 3, and then just write 11 on the other side of the decimal point. But any child that does that has not understood the place value. Let me give you another example. If we compare addition of just whole numbers, for example, 24 plus 38, and we are adding here in columns, we add 4 and 8, and that makes 12, and it is more than 10, so we carry the 10, right? And then we add in the tens. The same happens with decimals. If you have 
9 tenths and 9 tenths, 0 0.9 and 0 0.9, you add 9 and 9, gives you 18 tenths. And in 18 tenths, we have to carry the 1 to the 1's column and leave the 8 tenths here. Now the answer is 1.8.